ओम शांति टुडे आई विल बी स्पीकिंग ऑन द आर्ट ऑफ बीइंग एन इंट्रोवर्ट द मोस्ट कॉमन डेफिनेशन ऑफ एन इंट्रोवर्ट इज समवन हु गेट्स ड्रेन्ड बाय सोशलाइजिंग एंड रिचार्जेस बाय बीइंग अलोन देयर इज सो मच मोर टू इंट्रोवर्जन देन दैट एवरीवन इज बोर्न विद एन इनेट टेंपरामेंट a way that you can gain energy from and prefer to interact with the world introversion and extroversion are temperaments let's review the difference between an introvert extrovert and ambivert introvert is someone who gets energy from solo time and focuses more on internal feelings rather than on external sources of stimulation mb word is someone who can exhibit qualities of both introversion and extroversion depending on the situation mood and people they are with extrovert is someone who loves being around people gets energy from socializing and feels confident with new people and introverts general tendencies have a direct correlation to spirituality for many reasons one who spends time buried in their own mind exploring possibilities and searching for answers tends to have a deeper understanding of themselves and the world around them as an introvert it's essential for you to identify and then accept your form of introversion to further understand the workings of your mind help you cope better with your daily life as you make your introversion your super power being an introvert is something you can be proud of in fact being introverted might just be your biggest asset here is why number 1 your calm nature puts people at ease whether you realize it or not your presence does not go unnoticed being the one who takes it all in in an upbeat environment is very calming to those around you your introversion is a comfort to other people number 2 less talking equals more observing Speaking less gives your mind the ability to take in and process what is around you. Taking note of little details someone else might have missed. Being more present with someone and living in the now is great for your relationships. It's most impressive how much someone can miss just by thinking about what to say next instead of just being number 3 you get to know yourself more self awareness is the key to serving yourself and giving your body mind and soul what it needs spending more time with your thoughts in meditation and trying to understand what you are perceiving will benefit you it takes time to know yourself this is something to be proud of because not everyone can say they truly know who they are number 4 you can be independent for many of us working alone was never a negative thing from a young age introverts are able to train that independence muscle 
that so many people lack. With mindful self-reflection, they can handle large projects by breaking them into pieces, working them out and then presenting it to their team. They are observant and insightful when learning new things. Number 5. Introversion is attractive. Many introverts seldom boast about their accomplishment. Modesty is such an attractive quality that it often brushed under the rug. Because of this trait of modesty, many introverts thrive in human services, working for a cause, not applause. While it is great to achieve all your achievements, keeping some things on the down low is such an appealing trait to have. Number 6. Introvert people are observant. This typical introvert uses his or her observant nature to read the room. They are more likely to notice people's body language and facial expressions which makes them better at interpersonal communication. Number 7. They can make quality friends since introverts can feel their energy being drained by being around other people as opposed to extroverts who gain energy from being with other people. Introverts choose their friends wisely. They would rather have a few close trusted friendships to invest their time and energy in as opposed to a large network of acquaintances. This quality causes introverts to be loyal, attentive and committed to their friends. Number 8. They are thoughtful networkers. Being in a large group where the goal is to meet, talk and make a good first impression can be overwhelming for many of us especially for introverts. Extroverts may approach networking events with the goal of talking to as many people as possible. But often those quick conversations don't leave lasting impacts. Introverts, however, focus on learning about people they meet even if they only connect with a handful of people. Number 9. They are compassionate leaders. Since introverts process information more slowly, more thoughtfully than their extroverted counterparts, introverted leaders tend to learn more about their subordinates. They have focused conversations with their team members in order to learn their skills, their passions and their strengths. Once they gather all this information, they can use what they have learned to help each team member to be more efficient and happier at work. It's also important to understand the relationship and the difference between introversion and fear. If you are hiding your beautiful self because you are scared of what others might think of you, you are depriving both yourself of meaningful connections and others from enjoying the real you. Practices like meditation can help you overcome fears, if any, and make you emotionally strong and help you embrace your true nature. Introverted or extroverted and share it with others. Let your introversion be your strength and not your weakness. Remember, your quiet nature is part of who you are. It's a good thing. 
introverts who embrace their nature tend to flourish they are happier have better relationships do better work enjoy life because their minds are well rested and their energy level is very high the best thing you can do if you are an introvert is not try to change it but to take this alone time you need and let your vast inner world work for you being an introvert is a gift the world has a need for people who go deeper think before they act and look at things in a new perspective the world has a place for people who value meaningful relationships over meaningless small talk and the world is ready for thoughtful contemplative people who bring calm and wisdom to a room to be continued in part 2 om shanti